Hi, how's it going? So, I thought I'd take yet another run at this, my problem of imaging this disc. So I've given up on Solaris for now. I'm sure there's a Solaris guru out there who knows how to do this, but I'm not him. So, I'm going to run down using alternate operating systems, as I said. I tried installing Linux on it last night. I didn't get very far. I got it to boot. I pulled a copy of uh, Ultra Linux, which I think I grabbed the Debian one. Um, and I had some fun. Uh, kernel booted, but none of the SCSI drivers loaded, so I had to manually figure out how to get those to fire up, which wasn't that hard once I figured out what was wrong. And then I couldn't get it to mount the CD-ROM drive because it was giving me unaligned transfer errors. And I think maybe the uh, disk burn just went bad. I don't know. I thought I'd completely change tack just in case. So I pulled a copy of FreeBSD and I have just finished installing it. I haven't used FreeBSD in a really long, long time. And I have nothing against it. Um, I'm just much more familiar with Linux. And so this was an experience for me. I have to say, they could not have made it easier. It, it found everything and knew what it was doing. I dropped it in. God, it was really nice. So I'm hoping that the rest of it's gonna follow. So, let's give it a try. Okay, so I have the big Seagate disk plugged in. I have the Solaris disk removed and the BSD disk installed. So if I boot off the BSD disk, hey, that's a good sign. Boot path S bus. Oh. Oh, I see good stuff. Oh, I see lots of good stuff. Ooh, 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 oh. Oops, apparently I didn't shut it down properly last time. My bad. So, have a look at this. So ESP is the internal SCSI controller. ISP are the two QLogic SCSI controllers, so natively it knows what the hell they are. DA1, Seagate, ST4, blah 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 blah. 4096 byte sectors. Now, isn't that interesting? It can't be this easy. It, it can't be this easy. Ten sounds like a good number. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy... NASA! Corona... 
super falcon. Oh my, I have data. I have data. Oh, this is brilliant. Lots of text data, but I have, I have data. It's reading the freaking disk. Okay, okay. Um, the internal disk in this is not big enough to do this. Yeah. Um, 400 megs for a 10 gig disk. I need... I... I need NFS. Hmm. Okay, so I've not gone full retard. Just partial retard. I have my monster Dell laptop, which has a 200 gig disk in it. The uh, serial terminal over there. I have the Cray disk. I have the Ultra 2. And I have an Ethernet cable with a crossover device. I've got the laptop configured as 192.168.0.1 so if I can give BSD a Ethernet address and if NFS just works I did set up a mount um, it can't be this easy it can't be okay so if config it's HME 0 should be the onboard one 192.168.0.2 Netmask 255.255.0 No! No! Hmm. Okay. I lost the interface on the uh, Linux laptop. Holy! Nah! I... I... This is really hard to type in the dark, by the way. Oops, that's me. Yeah, yeah. No. No. It works. It 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 just works. It just works. Nah. It 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 it's there. It it's it's the it It's there. So it's possible that I suffered a minor mental breakdown then. It worked. I have access to the disk. <laughs> so, this uh, laptop's disk is 200 odd gig, but that's including all of the rest of the crap I have installed on it, and I use it for data storage for all sorts of other things, so I'm going to have to find a bigger disk. I have 240 gigs of Cray disks to image and then I've got to try and make sense of what I've got. I have no idea if what I just hex dumped is part of Unicos, if it's something from the site installation. 
I've got no idea. There's no partition map. I mean, you saw the beginning of the data was at the beginning of the disk. There's no boot sector. There's no binary junk at the beginning. It just, the disk, the data just starts. So, part of the fun might be figuring out where one disk ends and the next disk begins in the series and patching together one big sucking disk image. Anyways, I'll leave that fun for another day. Thank you very much for watching. You guys take care of yourselves.